Hello friends, so welcome to lecture series on multivariable calculus. So in the last lecture we have seen that how can we find maximum minima for two variable functions. We have seen that if we have a function of this form z is equals to f x y okay then suppose f x is equals to f y equal to 0 at a comma b then to check whether this point a comma b is a point of local maxima local minima saddle point we have to go for the second order partial derivative test what is that test in that test we simply find uh, f x x if f x x is positive and f x x f y y minus f x y square is also positive at a comma b this implies a comma b is a point of local minima ok. Now, if f x s is negative at a comma b and f x x into f y y minus f x y square is positive at a comma b then this implies a comma b is a point of local maxima and if f x x into f y y minus f x y square is less than 0 at a comma b implies a b is a saddle point. And if this quantity is equal to 0, so test is inconclusive ok. If f x x into f y y minus f x y square is equal to 0 at a comma b and this implies test is inconclusive. Inconclusive means we have to go for the higher order partial derivative test to check whether a b is a point of local maxima, local minima or settle point. So, this we have already seen in the last lecture that uh, if this condition hold then we can say the point a b which is a critical point at a b f x equal to f y equal to 0 ok. Then this point is the point of local maxima, local minima or settle point this can we can see by second or derivative test. Now, in this lecture we will deal that how can you find an absolute maxima or absolute minima if we have a closed boundary region ok. Now, first we have extreme value theorem what it states? It states that if f is a continuous function on a closed and bounded region d then f always attains an absolute maximum value f at x 1 y 1 and an absolute minimum value f x 2 y 2 at some point x 1 y 1 and x 2 y 2 in d. And that means, if you have a closed and bounded domain d okay, of a function f then there will always exist some point x 1 y 1 and some point x 2 y 2 in this region d where function will have absolute minimum and absolute maximum value. There always exists such point in a closed and bounded region. Okay. Now, how to find absolute maximum and absolute minima if we have a closed and bounded region d. So, for that now suppose uh, the absolute uh, extrema of a continuous function f x y on a closed and bounded region d how to find that we first select all the interior points of d where f may have local maxima and minima and evaluate f at these points ok. These are simply the critical points of f the first step is this thing the second step is list all the boundary points of d where the where f has local maxima and local minima and evaluate f at these points. Then we will find out the uh, points where f attains max local maxima local minima on the boundary ok. Analyze the list of list for the maximum and minimum values of f these will be the absolute maxima and absolute minimum values of f on t. So, let us understand these steps by an example say we have first example first problem where we have to find out the absolute maximum and absolute minimum of the function 
टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स वाई रीजन इज आर इज इक्वल टू ऑल दोज एक्स वाई वेयर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर इज लेस देन इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन दैट इज ऑल द पॉइंट ऑन द सर्कल ऑफ सेंटर जीरो जीरो एंड रेडियस फोर सो हाउ कैन यू फाइंड आउट मैक्सम मिनिमम फॉर दिस ना हियर वॉट इज एफ एफ इज टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स वाई एंड रीजन इज ऑल दोज एक्स वाई सच डेट एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर इज लेस देन इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन सो बेसिकली रीजन इज अ सर्कल इज अ सर्कल ऑफ रेडियस जीरो जीरो एंड सेंटर फोर सो दिस इज आर दिस रीजन इज आर ओके दिस पॉइंट इज फोर कॉमा जीरो दिस पॉइंट इज माइनस फोर कॉमा जीरो दिस पॉइंट इज जीरो कॉमा फोर एंड दिस पॉइंट इज जीरो कॉमा दिस पॉइंट इज जीरो कॉमा माइनस फोर दिस पॉइंट इज जीरो कॉमा फोर सो फर्स्ट यू फाइंड आउट ऑल द क्रिटिकल पॉइंट ऑफ दिस फंक्शन ओके सो फॉर क्रिटिकल पॉइंट वॉट वी आर हैविंग फॉर क्रिटिकल पॉइंट एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एफ वाई शुड बी जीरो सो दिस इंप्लाइज फोर एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू वाई प्लस सिक्स शुड बी जीरो एंड दिस इंप्लाइज एक्स इज जीरो एंड वाई इज थ्री सो दैट मीन्स दिस इंप्लाइज जीरो कॉमा थ्री इज द ओनली क्रिटिकल पॉइंट ओके नाउ वी हैव टू चेक दैट दिस पॉइंट is this point uh, lies in the interior of the region r so this point is somewhat here 0 comma 3 is somewhat here so yes this point lies on the interior of the region r okay now we have to check where this point is the point of local maxima minima or settle point okay so we find second order partial derivatives say what is fxx fxx is uh, 4 which is positive एफ वाई वाई इज माइनस टू ओके एफ एक्स वाई इज जीरो एंड एफ एक्स एक्स एफ वाई वाई माइनस एफ एक्स वाई स्क्वायर इफ यू कैलकुलेट दिस वैल्यू देन इट इज फोर इंटू माइनस टू माइनस जीरो डेट इज नेगेटिव सो दिस पॉइंट जीरो कॉमा थ्री इज अ सेटल पॉइंट ओके सो वी हैव points point is 0 comma 3 this is an interior point and what is the nature this is a settle point okay the first point the first critical point which we have find is the settle point which is 0 comma 3 lies inside the region r now we move along the boundary of the region the boundary of the region is a circle x square plus y square is equal to 16 the boundary is x square plus y square equal to 16 now we move along the boundary okay along the boundary along x square plus y square equal to 16 along this f will be you simply replace x square by y 16 minus y square this will be minus 3y square Plus six y plus thirty two. Now this is a single variable function. You can simply differentiate first derivative, put it equal to zero, and then you can find out second derivative to find out whether the point is the point of local maxima or local minima. So what is the first derivative? First derivative, put it equal to zero. This implies minus six y plus six equal to zero. So this implies y is equal to one. Okay, and the second derivative is minus six, which is negative. so this point is a point of is a point of local uh, uh, maxima okay now when y is 1 when y is 1 then x will be then x will be plus minus under root 15 and 1 so this point is a point of local maxima okay so we have find two more point plus minus under root 15 comma 1 and these point a point of local maxima 
Okay. So, first we have to uh, find an interior point by finding the critical point, check the nature of that point, then we move along the boundary of the region, the boundary may be a circle, may be a rectangle, may be a triangle or may be some other shape. Okay. You, you, you have to move along the boundary of the region and then you have to find f on the vertices, all the vertices. Now, here you have this point 0, minus 4 as uh, this uh, where this circle intersect y axis, then 4, 0, then 0, 4 and then minus 4, 0. So, these are all the possible points where the uh, function may attain maxima or minima. Okay. Now, at this point, at this point, now the value of function, value of the function at this point is you simply substitute it here, it is 2 into 15, 2 into 15 minus 1 plus 6 that will be 36 minus 1 that is 35. So, f is 35 at this point. Okay. Now, at 0 comma minus 4 f is when you substitute x as 0 and y as minus 4. So, this will be simply uh, minus 16 minus 24. Okay. When you substitute y as minus 4, so it will be minus 40. At this point, at this point value of f will be 16 into 2 that is 32. At this point, f will be minus 16 plus 24 that is 8. At this point, f will be you simply substitute x by this. So, that will remain that will remain the same point that is 32. So, you have listed out all the points, all the points and find out the corresponding value of the f. Now, from all these values, the minimum value of f is let us find the value of f at this point also, however, it is a settled point. So, it will be simply minus 9 plus 18 that is 9 only. Okay. Now, from all these points, the minimum value of the f is minus 40, which is at this point. So, this point is a point of the absolute minima. Okay. So, minus 0 comma minus 4, 0 minus 4 is a point of absolute minima and absolute minimum value is minus 40 okay. and uh, plus minus under root 15 and 1 is a point of absolute uh, maxima which is 35. So, plus minus under root 15 comma 1 is a point of absolute maxima and the absolute maximum value is 35. So, that is how we can find out absolute maxima and absolute minima of a function when some region is given to us, close and bounded region is given to us. So, you have to first find out the critical points, the interior point where function may attain maxima, minima or subtle point, then move along the boundary, find out all the vertices, list out all the point, the corresponding function values and check from all those values where the function has absolute maxima and absolute minima. So, let us try the second problem based on this. The second problem is, so here f is x square minus x y plus it is y square plus 1 and region r is all those x y such that x equal to 0, y is equal to 4 and x equals to y. That means, uh, a triangle bounded by triangle bounded by these three lines, okay. all those x y were triangle bounded by this and lying in first quadrant means x y z must be non negative, oh, oh, z is not there. So, x y must be non negative. That is the closed triangular plate in the first coordinate bounded by these three lines. So, what this uh, triangle is basically, you see it is x axis and it is y axis, this is x equal to 0 line, y equal to 4 is suppose this line, this is y equal to 4, 
y equal to x is this line, this is y equal to x, this is x equal to 0, so this is the region which is in first quadrant and bounded by these three lines, this is the first line, the second line and the third line. So, this region is suppose r. Okay. So, clearly you can find out the intersection point, this is uh, zero, this is this is 4 comma 4, this point is uh, 0 comma 4 and this point is 0 comma 0. So, first uh, you can see easily see that the vertices are 0 comma 0, 4 comma 4 and 0 comma 4. Okay. The, these are the vertices and the value of f will be here the value of f is uh, 1, here the value of f is it is 16 minus 16 cancel out 16 plus 1 is 17 and here the value of f will be when you substitute x as 0 y as 4, so it is simply again 17. Okay. Now, you find out uh, critical points or the points inside the region r where the function having local minima or local maxima. Okay. So, for critical points again f x equal to 0 and f y equal to 0. Now, what is f x? f x is 2 x minus y equal to 0 and f y means minus y or sorry minus x plus 2y is equal to 0. So, solving these two equations we directly can obtain 0 0 is the critical point. Okay. Now, we have to find out the nature of uh, this point. Okay. So, what is f x x? f x x is 2, f x y is minus 1 and f y y is again 2. So, this is positive and f x x into f y y minus f x y square is simply 4 minus minus 1 is square that is 3 which is again positive. So, this is positive and this is positive this means 0 0 is the point of local minima. Okay. So, that point is uh, here on the boundary itself and this point is a point of local minima. Okay. So, this point is a point of local uh, minima. However, this point is, is on the boundary itself. Okay. Now, we will move along the boundary. First, we move along on the boundary there are three lines x equal to 0, y equal to 4 and y equal to x. First, we move uh, along say x equal to 0. When you move along x equal to 0, so f at uh, 0 comma y will be y square plus 1 and now it is a single variable function to find out the maximum minimum of this simply differentiate put it equal to 0. So, derivative of this will be 2 y which is equal to 0 implies y is equal to 0. So, z x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 implies 0 0 is the point okay. and 0 0 we have already checked however. Okay, 0 0 we have already checked you can again uh, see from here second derivative is 2 which is positive means the point is the point of local minima. So, that we have already deal with. Now, we move along now we move along say x equals to y or y equals to x. So, at y equals to x it will be x square minus x square plus x square plus 1. So, it is x square plus 1. Again single variable function derivative put it equal to 0. So, 2 x equal to 0 implies x equal to 0. So, again 0 0 because x equal to 0 means y equal to 0. So, again we have a point 0 comma 0. So, that the nature of this point we have already dealt with. Okay. Then we move along y equals to 4. Now, along y equals to 4 what we are having? it is x square minus 4 x plus 16 plus 1 equal to 17. We simply substitute y equal to 4 because now we are moving along 1 y equal to 4. 
So, now put uh, now I take the derivative it is 2 x minus 4 put it equal to 0 implies x equal to 2 and the second derivative is 2 which is positive means 2 and 4 2 comma 4 is a point of is a point of uh, minima ok. So, you have to check you have to find the value of the function at this point also if this is uh, point of local minima and at this point value of the function will be it is uh, it is 4 minus 6 minus 8 ok 4 minus 8 plus 16 plus 1 17. So, it is minus 4 13 it is 13. So, now we have listed out all the possible uh, points where the function may attain absolute uh, minima or maxima uh, on this on this region r. So, from the, all these points the value where the function attain absolute minima that is 1 at 0 comma 0 and the maxima will be uh, maximum value of the function will be 17 at these points. So, we can say so we can say that uh, this function this function has absolute minimum value of f will be 1 at 0 comma 0 and absolute maximum value of f is equals to 17 at 4 comma 4 and 0 comma 4. So, that is how we can find out absolute maxima or absolute minima of a function f along a closed and bounded region r. Now, in the third example in the third problem we have a function which we have to find your absolute maximum absolute minima on a rectangular plate ok. Now, here what is a rectangular plate? So, here rectangular plate is x is less than equals to 5 greater than equal to 0 and y is less than equals to 3 and greater than equal to minus 3. So, x is lying between 0 and 5 this is x equal to 0 and this is somewhat x equal to 5. y is less than equal to minus 3 and greater than equal to greater equal to minus 3 and less than equal to 3. So, suppose y equal to minus 3 is somewhat here. So, y equal to minus 3 and y equal to 3 is somewhat here. So, this is the region r ok and we have to find out absolute maximum absolute minimum of the function this with uh, on this rectangular plate. So, first we are having uh, these vertices this vertex is uh, 0 comma minus 3 this is uh, 5 comma minus 3 this point is uh, this point is this is x equals to 5 and y is 0 this point is 5 comma 3 this point is uh, 0 comma 3 this point is 0 comma 0. So, we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 points we find the functional value at uh, these 6 points ok. Then for critical point we take f x equal to f y equal to 0 find out the critical point and the nature can be determined by finding second order partial derivatives at that point ok. Then we move along the boundary we move along this line y equal to minus 3 we move along x equal to 5 we move along y equal to 3 and we move along x equal to 0 all the four boundaries of the rectangular plate and find out the uh, possible uh, points where the function may attain local maxima or local minima. Then we list out all those points and find out the absolute maxima and absolute minima uh, seeing the functional value of f at the respective points. The value the point where the f attain uh, the least value will be the will be the absolute minimum value of the f at that point and the point where the uh, where the function at, uh, where the function has a maximum value will be the absolute maxima of the function in that region r ok. So, in this way we can solve this problem also. 
Now let us find out extreme values on parameterized curves. To find out the extreme value of function f x y on a curve x equal to x t where x is a function of t and t is a parameter and y is also a function of t, we treat f as a function of single variable t and use chain rule to find where d f upon d t is 0 that is the critical points. Then the extreme values of f are found among the values at the critical points and and points of the parameter domain. If the domain is bounded, so we have to find out the end points also. So, in this way we can find out extreme values on parameterized curve. Let us discuss this by an example. The first problem is f is equal to x square plus y square and x is given as t function of t and y is simply 2 minus 2 t and you have to find out the maximum minimum value of this function on this curve. Now, how can you find this? This is uh, you can find d f upon d t which is del f upon del x into d x upon d t plus del f upon del y into d y by d t. This is by chain rule. Okay. So, it is 2 x d x by d t is 1 plus 2 y this is minus 2 x is t and y is 2 minus 2 t. So, this is uh, 2 t minus 8 plus 8 t. So, that is 10 t minus 8 and d f by d t equal to 0 implies t is equals to 4 upon 5. Okay. Now, the second derivative the second derivative with respect to t second derivative with respect to t is simply 10 which is positive. So, this point is the point of local minima. And local minimum value is to find out the local minimum value you simply substitute t equal to t equal to 4 by 5 here. So, you can get x and y substitute this x and y over here. So, you can find out the local minimum value of this function f. So, what will be x? x will be simply 4 by 5, y will be 2 into 1 minus 4 by 5 that is simply uh, 2 by 5. Okay. So, function value will be 16 by 25 plus 4 by 25 that is 20 by 25 or 4 by 5. So, this is the local minimum value of this function at this point. Similarly, if you deal with this problem function is 2 x plus 3 y and curve is given by this uh, expression. So, here you can easily find out the parametric representation of this curve. What is the function here? Function is 2 x plus 3 y and the parametric curve is x square by 9 plus y square by 4 is equals to 1. So, you can take x as 3 cos t and y as 2 sin t. Okay. and t is varying from uh, 0 to 2 pi. So, that the entire ellipse should be covered. Okay. So, this is a parametric representation of this curve. Now, you can simply find uh, del f uh, d f by d t which is simply del f by del x into d x by d t plus del f by del y into d y by d t and it is simply 6 times minus sin t plus cos t and you simply differentiate it with respect to uh, that you have uh, uh, that you have simply find out. So, this uh, this is the nothing, but you can easily write this as uh, 6 by 6 under root 2 into minus 1 by under root 2 sin t plus 1 by under root 2 cos t okay. and this will be 6 under root 2 this is uh, this is uh, say sin phi or cos phi sin t plus sin phi cos t and this is 6 under root 2 
साइन ए प्लस बी सो वॉट विल बी फाइव साइन फाइव इज वन बाई अंडर रूट टू एंड कॉस फाइव इज माइनस वन बाई अंडर रूट टू डेट इज फाइव लाइज इन सेकेंड कॉर्डेंट तो डेट विल बी सिंपली पाई माइनस फाइव बाई फोर डेट इज थ्री पाई बाई फोर सो फाइव विल बी थ्री पाई बाई फोर सो यू कैन सिंपली टेक इट इज सिक्स अंडर रूट टू साइन टी प्लस थ्री पाई बाई फोर नाउ द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ओके सो नाउ यू कैन सिंपली सी डेट यू कैन सिंपली फाइंड आउट वेर इट इज जीरो ओके यू कैन फाइंड इट डायरेक्टली ऑल्सो when you when you put this equal to 0 that means 10t equal to 1 okay and you can list out all the points where this is zero you can find second derivative okay what is second derivative of this function second derivative is simply 6 minus sin t minus cos minus uh, sin t i mean minus cos t minus sin t so what i want to say you can simply find you have find df by dt you simply put it equal to 0 okay this equal to 0 or this equal to 0 find out all the t all the values of t where this is equal to 0 okay and then put it in the second derivative to find out the uh, to check whether that put the point of local maxima local minima and then you can find out the functional value at that point okay otherwise this question can be solved directly also how you see what is f f is you simply substitute this over here and y over here so this will be 6 times sin t plus cos t and this is 6 under root 2 sin t plus pi by 4 and the max minimum value of this is 1 or sorry maximum value is 1 and minimum value is minus 1 So f will lying between six under root two to minus six under root two. From minus six under root two to six under root two. So minimum value of this function is this, and the maximum value is six under root two. Okay. So this is simply an illustration that how you can solve such type of problems using derivative. So thank you very much.